I played college football, and not a, there's not a lot of us out there. And if you, if you start talking about it like it's cool, it's like, yeah, come on, let's let's grow out together, you know? Like, you guys know Alex Dragovich, that tall guy that yeah. he played D1 basketball? It's like he's better at comedy and sports than me. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Get out of here, man. And you're taller, and that's why you're better at sports. It's, it's a wormhole I go in. Week. But uh, your next comic, he knows all about wormholes, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, if you don't know why I said that, he's right there. Uh, and, and he's going to be up here in a second. Everybody get your hands together for Julian Nicholas Taylor. He brought coloring books. Well, anyone that wants them, but nobody wants them. I want one this week, for sure. Uh, which one? I got three. Oh, what are these? Between them. Oh, yeah, I got. I actually, I uh, I put together a uh, GoFundMe, and uh, I got twenty bucks in donations from uh, a random, uh, I guess, friend. I met her at uh, North Coast two thousand and seventeen. Hey man, it's, a, it's another color book, you know. It's pretty awesome. Hey. I hope. Either way, so the biggest thing I wanted to practice tonight was at least speaking from like the deepest part of my diaphragm. So I don't know if people know this, but I'm not talking from the top. I'm not supposed to be funny. I'm just practicing some shit. So please bear with me. You got five minutes. You're stuck with me. I'm sorry. Um, I forgot my, uh, my little sheet of paper in between my tripod right there. Um, Unibomb.com, you get a book, bro, if you want one. But if you don't, just pass it out to someone you know that needs it. You know, I've been realizing this through my journey. Coloring is not for everybody, and it's okay. I don't blame you, you know, it's just not for you. You know, it's okay. Alright, I'm, I'm, I went back to the top. I gotta go back to the bottom of the diaphragm here. So, the one thing I wanted to go over here. So, Throughout my life, I've been dealing with a little bit of a problem that I'm sure other people have dealt with. Um, I don't know about you guys. It's not new to me, but maybe to you guys for realizations, at least for sake. But parental pimping. <laughs> have you ever heard of that shit? No. You know why? Because, because you know, they keep it on the down low. They have you going to sports games left and right, however many different seasons of different feeder teams or whatever the fuck type of organization you were part of for whatever sport. And you know it's not for you. And so they can be friendly. Have some friends, get out to them barbecues, you know what I'm saying, you know? Not be stuck with you in the crib because you're the kid. I didn't mean to run that shit, but you know, I did. So that's all I got to say. And uh, no, actually I don't. I got a story for you from that. <laughs> hey, from the wormhole, I guess. I never caused me that shit. So I was given a fake birth certificate <laughs> to play down as a fear league team as Joey Dominelli. I don't have a fake birth certificate here. It, I will be here for a couple more weeks, so I will show it to you guys when I get it, but. <laughs> that's, that's the extent my mom went to to have friends. So let that sink in. She got a fake birth certificate put together so I could play down looking younger to be around her friends. So, I mean, that's an extreme, but I'm sure everyone else has a place of relation in between that. Even theater, you know, they got their theater club, you know, mom and moms get together, they're just crocheting and shit, you know, it's like, mom, this isn't for me. Fuck it, you're in this shit. I like these people. You know, that, that's how it goes. Mom drives you, she takes you everywhere. She'll starve you unless you do what you want. <laughs> there she wants. Up. But anyway, I have no materials all off the top of my head. I'm, I'm kind of mad that, uh, <laughs> hey, I'm mad that Ricky Ricardo didn't show up. He disbelieved my whole story. Yeah, y'all yeah, know Ricky Ricardo. I know, right? The first name, his name's Ricardo, but just for me to remember him, Ricky Ricardo. So I brought both my passports from both being a Canadian and an American. He didn't believe me about this one, so he's not here for this shit tonight. But um, all right, so f just to close up, because I can't see lights. I don't know if you guys know this. I, I live in a wormhole. All that shit gets eaten, bro. Diaphragms, speak from them. If you ain't, you a bitch. I learned that last week, looking over my set. I was kind of sad, and my aunt was like looking at him like, damn, I'm like, 
I'm speaking from the top. I haven't even like used like any of my like voice so. Anyway, um, so damn. I, I, in closing, just for a shame game on myself. Have you guys, have you guys know the shame game? Dude, it's so much fun. Only a couple people have witnessed mine. Uh, but I myself, I have to say that I do not have an internet girlfriend. She is a redhead, but she is not my internet girlfriend. She made that clear to me. I, I just have to apologize to the camera because she's going to see this. I got to send this to her because this is, this is a public shaming of me saying that I, I've been drinking too much. And you know, I shouldn't be saying shit that's not true, Chelsea. <laughs> From me to you, there's a camera. Sending me. Anyway, my name is Julie McStiller. I hope you guys had fun. Yeah. Woo! Set number seven. Keep it going. Julie is keeping track, y'all. We're at set number seven. <laughs> we got more to go. And I'll tell you what, I'm in a state of behoovement. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention. Clearly not the Canadian guy. Fuck.